Hi, it's Chris Watkin here with the ultimate estate agency star, Richard Rawlings. Richard, in a previous video, you said that there was no middle ground in the estate agency and agents needed to boutique themselves up. Um, what does that look like? Talk to me. Okay, I think it's, I mean, being the boutique agent, um, it's a slightly chintzy term, boutique, but what I mean is... because yeah, we don't want, you know, yeah, we're not looking yeah, like... Not looking nice, good, <laughs> like that lovely sofa and everything, you know, I mean, it, may, it may be, but uh, what I'm talking about is, is more personal, personable elements to the business that pull you away from the crowd. Um, you know, we are in the people business, yeah. aren't we? Well, absolutely, it's a people business. In fact, I, I think in one of our, our other videos, we talk about actually not necessarily being driven by relationships, but actually being driven by by challenge. And uh, we can talk about that another Indeed. time. Um, but I think, um, so, so when I say boutique, what I mean is, is looking at what traditional agency is or high street agency is um, and doing something that is perhaps the other way around and that really is for the Because that's what, benefit. if you look at the dictionary definition of boutique, it's very individual, very one-on-one. -on -one, very like bespoke. Like, yes. Yeah, great yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Like a bespoke tailor. And I don't necessarily mean giving a bespoke service as each person wants it. They don't know what they want. The good agent knows what the right thing to do is. Mm. The customer doesn't know what they need. They, all they're looking is who, well, who's the cheapest, you know, and, and because they don't know anything else. Mm. They've all been to the Channel 4 School of Estate Agency, so you know they've got a fair... They think they know everything, but actually the consumer is, with respect, ignorant of the opportunity. So surely the agents have to educate them. Absolutely. It is about education, and that takes us into um, you know, blogs and various communications, and then the content, a critical element of what you are saying out there is, is so important. Okay. But what um, are the five elements of making yourself boutique? And we'll yeah. probably talk about content yeah. later. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if, if it were me, if I were opening a, a new agency or changing what I did, I'd be turning things around. For example... Uh, one thing I hate, long periods of sole agency. Okay, well, let's sign them up for 20 weeks, Richard. Come on, why, yeah. Why would you 24. do 24, come on. Where's yeah. the benefit to them? What's well, the it's good for customer? us, isn't it? It's exactly, good for exactly. There's no benefit to the customer uh, whatsoever. It was based on the uh, years ago when you had to order space in magazines and pay for them in advance and everything. And it was fair enough. Well, I'm going to make this investment, so I need to make sure that's covered. That's not customer-centric at all. Okay. If it was me, I'd be saying, actually, you know, some agents, they'll try and sign you up for a 12 26 week even sole agency period um, they don't care what they sell it for they just want your business where's the benefit to you mm -hmm. I said if you no longer enjoy working with me as your agent you should have the right to find me at any time okay just with a notice a, period a couple of weeks notice maybe that's fair yeah, yeah that's yeah, fair yeah. So, so that's number one what's the second yeah. one um I think there's a massive opportunity that a lot of agents have missed and something that I harnessed many years ago and a third of my turnover was based on representing buyers as well as sellers. Buyers? Not in the same transaction, but uh, if you think about okay, it... We're estate agents. We're here to uh, work exactly. We're, we're estate agents. We specialise in negotiating and, and uh, facilitating transactions. Yes. Why and we're bloody good at negotiating. We're very good at it, but why... Are, it's like driving on the other side of the road. Why do we only do it one way? Um, you know, it, it's like you can fold your arms this way, you can fold your arms that way, mm -hmm. but we never thought, thought to fold our arms that way. But representing buyers is such an opportunity because... An agent probably fails to sell to 96% of their registered buyers because they've only got limited stock in this country. So this is the problem else. In America, you don't have it because you've got multiple agents. Sorry, not multiple. Um, you've got uh, MLS, multi-listing service, where an agent, if they get a good buyer, they can sell many properties that's on the market. We can only sell them properties that are on our books. Hold on a second. We don't have many on our books. Therefore, the lack of stock becomes not a non-issue. Absolutely not. In fact, it helps you get stock. Because uh, what it now means is, uh, well, two elements of, of representing buyers. The first one, when you're going on an instruction, you can say to your potential seller, actually, I know we may be more expensive, but what you get with us as well is we'll happily represent your interests in your onward purchase as well as your sale. So we'll actually save you money on your purchase as well as make you money on, on your sale. So do you actually charge for the buyer's finding service? Well, with buyers, absolutely. Because most of those buyers that you fail to sell to, you can say... If, you, you know, if you've got a good relationship with them, maybe they're cash rich, time poor, they're, they're busy people, they live apart, they live away. It's not for everyone. Um, but you would say to them, actually, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't got anything for you, but actually there are a couple of properties I'd like, to, I'd like to show you that I think could be suitable. Or if you see anything online you like the look of, let me know. I'll happily come around with you. 
And but surely buyers aren't going to pay you for that, are they? A few, a few of them will. All you need is 5% of them to do that, to save them money on their purchase and to help them. You and, know. and do you help estate agents with marketing material on how to get these buyers? A- absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, all, all the documents and everything as well. I so. mean, actually, the, the example would be, you know, I mean, it, there are a number of sectors of people that this is suitable for. Maybe, let's say it's an elderly lady, her son would help her do this, but he lives in Australia. Um, you're moving to another part of the country. Your brother lives there. Fantastic, Dave. Can you give me a hand? It's it's being their friend in the market, and you might charge them um, just a, a percentage of the saving you make off the asking price. Fifteen percent of the saving, maybe. No, it's a win-win, so isn't it? It's a win-win, and it's not a regular um, 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 finding service. You're not there to find them. Yeah, but it just supplements. Hold their hand. Yeah, and if you can sell to an extra five percent of your buyers, you've just doubled your turnover. Wow. So so wow. there's a huge opportunity. What's there. the third one, Richard? Um, Show, it, it's similar to buyer representation, but it's it's also a good way of getting um, uh, getting stock. Maybe a bit cheeky, but um, it's it's showing other agents stock because you run out of your own stock. You have to let the buyer go. So why not say, actually, I know a property. It's on the books with one of our competitors. Would you like me to to come and sh- look at it with you? Um, so when an agent uh, sells a property uh, that's on your books, you get the commission and you get the glory and the reputation. Those, that glory and that reputation are critically important for, for moving your business forward. Um, if you fail to sell to them, you get neither the money nor the glory. But if you help them buy one of your competitors' property, you get no money, but you get the glory. And, and people will talk, especially with social media. Absolutely. Right? They say, this agent, I can't believe it. Help me buy another agent's property. And also, you go with them on the viewing and you may well get to meet the seller. And the, the lazy agent who didn't accompany... And you might get the FS and the, everything else that goes with it. And, and Your this, job is to be involved and, in the market. Well, when I were an estate agent many years ago, I, I had the same situation where you actually help people and 10 years later they come back to you because you, you're the one that actually helped them. Absolutely. We're in this for the long game, aren't we? I think there's a yes lot of agents... Yes no. I, I never took that view. I thought, 10 years, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in 10 years. I want to impress people so much now that they're going to tell everybody else right now. If you get it in 10 years as well, but, yeah. but well, yeah. it's a win-win. It, it is, but I mean, you, you get people, you know, you, you, you might do a, a customer satisfaction survey, which I, which I hate, but if you do that, you, you get, oh, 90, 96, 96% of our clients say they'd, they'd recommend a friend, but do they actually go on to recommend a friend? No, they oh, don't. No. A friend never asks them. And that's why it's, it, it, you have to do things that are going to get people saying, wow, I'm going to put that, I'm going to tweet that. That was such a great experience. I never expected that. Wow. So uh, it's a matter of, of getting people to talk about you willingly. What's the fourth? Um, binding offers. Uh, 37% of offers fall through in this country because of the archaic system in, in, in which we, we, we work. Um, and so uh, what I used to do is, is have a, 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 whenever anyone made an offer, they made it binding. It included a, a deposit. And when I say binding, it can be subject to survey and mortgage with, with certain parameters in there. But basically it, it, it's saying, here's my offer. I'll be bound by it. I'll lose my deposit, and the seller would lose a deposit as that would pay double the deposit back uh, if they. Uh, it's, it's basically anti gazumping anti gazundering uh, Lots of ways of doing that, um, but again, most agents don't do that, and it could be a really good selling point. Say, Mister Seller, we may be more expensive, but our offers go. Through. And again, can you help agents in the terminology to make sure? Yeah, got all that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, just uh, absolutely. Uh, and what's the fifth element? Um, it's 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 a development of that in a way. It's it's a legal pack in advance um, because so often what happens? Someone comes to market. A few weeks later, a buyer is found, and they say, "Oh, we better get a solicitor, and we better get all the legals in place." And this is why you've got such a massive window of opportunity within which sales can fall through. So we, we say, at the time of instruction, have a legal pack ready. It can help you get the instruction. Work with a great oh. solicitor. Don't take any any nonsense from traditional high street solicitors. Need a really good conveyancer. And the legal pack's in place. There's search insurance. There's title insurance, indemnities. Um, so they fill that in at the outset, and it means that when a buyer is found, uh, uh, well, I worked with a solicitor who, 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 who did this on our own purchase and sale, and we signed the contract the very same day we instructed the solicitor. Wow. So, you know, there, there are so many ways you can speed up. Well, by order. narrowing that gap, you're, you're reducing the, the opportunities of Abs- big fall out Absolutely. Bed. Absolutely. And, and that, that's the problem in this country. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So I, there's just a handful of things. There's loads. Some great five tips there from the king of estate agency, Richard Rawlings. Yeah. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Let's, let's talk about other subjects in the next video. <laughs>